Hello guys, this is Ambi again. I have another partial nugget for you today. Uh, today we're going to talk about data types. What are the data types that are there? So let's get on with it, shall we? Now, data types. There are many data types. Uh, the long, and you have character, boolean, uh, I'm going to talk only about the uh, uh, important ones which which will help you to get started with byte then you have double decimal single array Let me make this easy for you array Then we have XML hash table. We have discussed few of these in the previous um Video that is hash table and array. So what we have now here, just let's talk about uh, the funny one, character. So what the hell is a character now? If I type character, okay, uh, I'm gonna type char here, and I will type character and zero x two six three a. Press F hit F five. That's an emoticon. That's a smiley. You. That's how my day is right now. Let me try to change it to B and see what it is. Oh, that's another smiley. C. Oh, okay. So as you can see, what if I change to five? All right. Oh, that's some funny th looking thing. Is that some Asian language? Chinese, Japanese, Korean, maybe. Okay, so let's move on, shall we? After that, we have bool. It's nothing but True or false? False. Just we just have true. One of these. Which one we want? The false or true? Uh, I'm gonna put a hashtag there so that we don't have to see them. So basically, these are used. Let's say uh, uh, name. Hmm. I will just say name equals this and so also exclamation mark name press f5 and see it says true that means if i put exclamation mark here that means is it empty basically i'm asking is it empty and uh, it says yeah it's empty and if i do like this nothing comes up now what if i put uh, a here so it says false. No, it's not empty. So basically, you use this to say that it's empty or not empty. You know, true or false boolean. That's where you use R. Uh, we will say A equal one, B equals two, and I'm gonna say A minus equal. Okay, I say equal earlier. That means actually assignment. But every time you're saying you know, I'm assigning one to A. I'm assigning a value two to B. It's gonna be a little difficult and unusual to say, so I just say this. A is equal to B. If I press F5, it says false. Obviously, it's false. And then I say not equal to F5. Yay, it is true. So that's where it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, that is, if you don't know what I'm doing, Alt, Shift, Down, Arrow, select multiple lines, then this. Hmm. Boolean, right? So now, uh, what? Uh, the another thing that I want to check is, you want to check the data type. Let's say there is some uh, data type. Uh, name equals one, and you want to see name that get type, and that will be okay. It's going to tell me it's integer. So what if I put it in, uh, say amb my name, and it says it's a string. So dot get type will help you to check whether it's uh, what kind of data type it is. Then we will move to. Okay, what is this single code and double code? What's the difference between double code and single code? So I will show that to you here. If I say uh, my right, my name is name. So it just prints out it. I'm a pincer out, right? I'm gonna put this in double code. So it, now it's just one line. My name is this. However, if I put all this in single code, see what happens. It just says name. So 
whatever that you put in single quote, it's going to cancel. Uh, it's going to cancel all the special characters which are in there. But if you put it in uh, in double quote, then the special characters what you have will still be there, right? So that is a string for you, and that is how you should use double quote and single quote. I always suggest, or uh, I always practice using single quote instead of double quote wherever I can, unless and until I have to use some variables or special characters inside, and then I go for double quote. So always stick to single quotes unless you need to use double quotes. That just makes it easier. Now, let's say, now I'm gonna type, I'm gonna put here one, right? So let's say name again, get type, uh, F5, right? Uh, for a bunch of numbers here, again, integer, uh, again, bunch of numbers here, integer 64. Uh, I'm gonna put dot here. It says double, right? F5 here. Hmm. Right. So, so that's what we have. Right. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Right. So this is what we have when it comes to data types in uh, PowerShell. Uh, you don't need to go through all this. I rarely use them, but if at all you use them, then you will come to know. So till the next video, have a great day. Subscribe now and you do take care. Bye.